hey my friend jean serge Gagnon here so do you want to know how to organize your stuff if you're trying to post daily it's really not easy I've been realizing that myself even though I've been doing it for years and I kind of stopped for about a month and now I'm doing it again and I'm trying to change a little bit some of the things I'm doing but it's like oh my god this is so much more complicated than I remembered and there are differences but the point is that there's a way to organize it how do you do that we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so the first thing you have to know is that I'm not saying that you have to post content daily you can do it a couple times a week and do it every week once a month really it's really up to you I mean there's other episodes where I talk about consistency where I talk about you being congruent where I talk about uh, you know having uh def knowing what your audience is interested in all these things they're all super important and today we're just talking about if you want to post daily even if it's not daily if you want to post consistently and it seems like you don't have enough time to 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 do it every day like for me I've been posting daily for just another week and a half or so now and before then I was doing it every day um for like years and the, the, I was doing something different than I'm doing now but the, at, the, at the same time it wasn't really that much different I mean I have uh, an hour at lunch and I have a bit of time in the morning a bit of time after work and that's how much time I have every day right and it takes me I don't know 15 to 30 minutes to record the video record the episode right that I put on my on my um, uh, YouTube and I post on my sound cloud account to to be on iTunes and podcasts and all that it so I mean I have basically half an hour at least every day that's left over for the rest which is writing up the blog post and syndicating across different platforms and but why daily right why do you why am I talking about doing it daily right first of all if you're starting out the thing you have to remember is that the most important thing is for you to get known so you've heard this before again you know the no like trust factor for you to get people to buy from you they have to trust you and for them to trust you they have to like you and for them to like you they have to know you right so how do you get them to know you is by having lots of content where they can see you often and so that they get to know you by so that all the rest of the stuff happens right and that's why we're talking about doing it daily because of that now if you do it daily that means you have to be organized somehow me I've been organized in my head I've been just doing it in my head just not even worrying about you know being doing it right just thinking in my head okay what am I going to do this morning what am I going to do this morning and I'm like uh okay let's talk about this let's talk about that and it's actually consuming some of my time during the morning thinking about okay what is going to be the topic today what is going to be the topic this morning right what's it going to be this morning or the, uh, today at lunch right and uh, that's not really that efficient and I've been trying to find a, a way around it because I've been trying to learn my new process and I've shown you before so let me just show you here again I mean this is like for example right now this is my blog post right the blog post that I'm doing for this episode if you're listening to the audio I'm just showing the um oh look at that I got a typo here let's fix that I'm just showing the page of my blog post where I post my blog my WordPress right and it's it's I wrote all this you know this morning right before starting to work um and and that's the thing so that's and my process is now this right it's deciding on the, now I'm going to update this because I've made a decision to change so that my blog posts are done ahead of time that kind of stuff so we're going I'm going to talk about that right now but this is my list right I, I write up a blog post I record a video uh, then I get parts out of it to to post to Instagram to to LinkedIn to Facebook to YouTube to my SoundCloud to Alexa all these different things I do all that in in this this is my list of things and I do that every day right it seems like a lot but once you get used to it you do uh it, it's not you know as much as you could as you would think um so let me just go back to the webcam 
so I mean that's the thing so when you are when you are planning your content and when you're trying to do your content like every single day like this it becomes difficult to figure out what you want to do so one of the things that I kind of um came up with you know recently because I've just been having conversations and I've been like, thinking to myself okay how do I do this because you know starting to think about the topic that day is great because you're not planning ahead you're not worrying about it you just do it as you go it's good when you're starting out to just do it to just go for it to just do it and that's the other thing I wanted to mention about the daily thing doing it daily I mean you're starting out is is going to help you to understand the processes the things you got to do to repeat them as you repeat them you'll get better at it and you'll learn and you'll get good at doing the actions you need to do to provide your, promote your content to connect with people on on social media all these different things you got to do and one of the most important things is to be consistent right and the reason why it's important to be consistent is because it allows you to learn the different things the steps because as you when you're starting out you're going to be confused because there's a lot of stuff to do right so that's why doing it daily is better because your brain sees the process more often than if you were to try to do it once a week once you're super popular you got a huge fan base then you can start thinking about doing it once a week and making it even better you you'll have done the daily thing every all the time you have have gone through the process you would have learned all the tools and you'll get even better at like if you're doing blogs for example you'll be even better at writing them and I mean that's and that and that's just the nature of being you know being a, a human right that's how we learn we learn by by practice by doing by doing over and over and over right <clears throat> and one of the things is that getting organized is going to happen well so let's let's back up you could decide to be organized you might be a person that's that likes to be organized right I'm not really like that uh, I like to just do things as I think about them but I know that being organized helps in lots of lots of things right but if you're not organized uh, then doing it doing it doing it doing it is going to help you to figure out what parts you need organization in right you could also talk to a coach a mentor ask them what they think and follow whatever they're telling you to do because they know what works for them and chances are it'll work for you that's another option right um I'm not saying you need to do that but if you're a person who really likes to have somebody else help you out then you should go find find somebody who can help you with that me I can help you with that too I'm not going to try to promote myself for this and you can follow my stuff whatever but you know that's the thing you can get help from somebody that you relate to that you feel comfortable with that you're that you think is very much like you and I might not be like you but I might be like the next person right so I'm just saying you can if you're if you think I'm like you then yes I could probably help you and that would be the best approach for you maybe right and the thing is that if you start to do things and you start to realize how to do things and what are the things that you're struggling with that are having like for me okay let's let's go back to me just maybe to give you a, a perspective maybe for you to understand but when I first started f almost five years ago I did two two blog posts a day so that was two videos two blog posts and then two Facebook posts and groups and all that kind of stuff twice a day I, well not twice a day I would just do two I would do two in the evening and because I you know had a day job so I would do it in the evening it would be two and I did that for like a, a whole month every single day I did two of them and the reason I did that is because I was told that the more content you can create the better it'll be and the thing is that you know nobody's going to tell you you suck at the beginning uh, they're not going to tell you that or even if they do you you won't believe it necessarily because you're going to be like well you know I don't suck that much I'm not scared I'm doing it and whatever but believe me it doesn't really matter how much experience you've got unless you're an actor already or that kind of stuff you're going to suck in the beginning you're going to suck because there's lots of stuff going on your your mind is racing you're thinking about different things you're wondering about how how whether you're standing well right whether your hair is okay whether your makeup's right whether your outfit's right your all that stuff is going through your mind so you're going to be nervous you're going to speak differently you're going to be not sure how to move there's all sorts of things that are going to be going on in your mind right so I mean that's normal so but the thing is that 
you have to go through that process you gotta suck first because before you can be good you'll have to do a lot of stuff that sucks until you're good and then uh, then you'll have to keep going keep going you'll get good then you'll get better and then eventually you'll get great right but you you can't start great you can't start awesome you can't start like that you gotta do the the do's right you gotta learn the basics first and you gotta practice and you gotta get better until you're really good and that's the that's there's no there's really no way around that and I see people sometimes they're like well I'm gonna practice I'm gonna get better I'm before I do anything I'm, I gotta get better at it I gotta practice I gotta I'm you know let me practice and you know what that's great you should practice if that's really what you need but I'm telling you you're wasting your time because when you start going online after you know weeks and months and years of practice before you even do anything you're still going to start at zero so why not start at zero today instead of starting at zero in six months or a year from now right just start just do it and the thing that's cool about online is that when you start in the beginning you don't have any fans you don't have you don't have fans you're just starting out right so you won't have a, a thousand people following you that'll laugh at you and think you're doing a bad job or whatever it doesn't matter because if you have a four or five fans and they're actually people who know you who like you they're not necessarily going to judge you and even if they do who cares right and that's the thing you got to remember you got to be not worried about that stuff because it'll happen anyways so you might as well just get it over with start going take the action and once you do that right it's gonna you're gonna be able to how can I say you're going to be able to to figure out like I said the parts that you're not good at that you need improvement on or that kind of stuff right so it's like for me uh you know I as I was doing those and I was starting over again and then I was thinking okay I got to do a blog post and this is me right this is my thought process I got to do a blog post I got to record a video for it then I got to take that then I then then out of the video I got to take screenshots I got to take audio out I got to take the first you know five minutes out of it I gotta add the intro and the outro I've got to uh, do all that then I have to take all that content and I gotta post it to YouTube I gotta post it to Facebook I gotta post it to LinkedIn I gotta post it to um, SoundCloud I gotta post it to uh, course in click eCourse I gotta post it all these different places and that's and that whole process between the recording the writing and the blog and the recording the video that's like almost an hour and then I then before I can upload it anywhere I gotta upload it that takes time too because my internet isn't that great here so all of that is like two hours probably for me every day and I'm thinking well how can I only have an hour well I do have like I said morning time and after, and that's kind of eating into family time and and sleep time or whatever right so I was like okay so how do I improve this right so I do have a couple of nights during the week where I spend time on the business and some time on the weekends and I was like okay how do I make this better right so one of the things I realized is that if I keep going the way I'm going I'm always eating into all this time and it's stressful because I feel like I'm I'm still not done at lunchtime and I'm I have to keep working after work and that kind of stuff so I decided I'm gonna spend you know an hour on the Tuesday or Thursday and I'm gonna create the content or the skeleton if you will for the blog posts at least if not write them right but I can find the content by googling a topic that kind of stuff I can get ideas and then I just at, at the very least I can write up the title of each episode I'm going to do during the week right so that's that eliminates that part I don't have to worry about it in the morning thinking about it thinking about okay what am I going to talk about at lunchtime what am I going to, what am I going to write about so I can do that and then then I can I can you know just produce the content right it can all be done I can still do it on the fly like I'm doing right now I'm recording the video kind of on the fly even though I've written a blog post even though I've thought it through I've thought through the process and you know that's kind of what I what I do right so right now it's telling me that I have to log in again that's kind of weird I think that my uh, wordpress is a little bit confused here I'm probably gonna have to go back here <coughs> I pro they probably did a restart or something on the server side let's go back to here I just need to go to the posts because I was actually I wanted to read up back on my blog posts 
and I want to see uh I want to see what I was um I want to look again you know, that's the thing right so this is the way that I'm doing them now I'm re I'm rewriting them first so when I look at it I can kind of go back through it and I can say oh what do I what am I supposed to be talking about you know because I I wrote up this this topic already right this topic that I'm talking about right now I wrote it up uh so <clears throat> so I'm just trying to load the page here it's it's a little slow because it's uh there you go okay so you know and that's the thing so that's that's what I did I did that weekly process right I did it so that I could have a process where I would come up with a way to improve because one of the things that I found is that when I'm re uh, recording the video and writing the blog post whether I try to do the blog post before or the video before it's it doesn't really it's makes that's the part that makes it the more complicated for me is figuring out what to talk about in my blog post what to talk about in my you know my recording my episode and that's you know and right now I wrote in here right my day, my weekly process right now I decide my blog post ahead of time I take an hour a week and it you know it can be and I'm not saying you have to do that but if you want to you can be anytime you want obviously Sundays lots of people talk about doing it on Sundays Sundays is you know the preparation of the week right but you know for me Sundays just any other day so I would rather do it on the days that I've decided that I'm working so Tuesdays or Thursdays so I think about what I want to talk about for the next week and then I google that I google that topic like say I'm thinking okay I'm going to talk about attraction marketing what is attraction marketing right so I'm going to google that I'm going to, I'm going to see a whole bunch of answers from a whole bunch of people that have already talked about this and I'm just going to pick up something I know about when you're starting out obviously you don't necessarily know about these things but you know about your topic whatever it is that you're trying to build as a business right if you're if you have a, 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 a coffee shop and you want to talk about you know different kinds of coffees of the world that you have in your shop maybe you blog about how the coffees are made you know how the farms are you know who owns the farms the history of them all this different stuff about coffee and and farms and how that gets what the transportation methods are to go from different countries to 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 here to your shop where you order it from what kind of business those are the stories of customers that 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 never heard of you or had great stories you know all that stuff if you there's lots of ideas you can just google <coughs> you know who sells coffee and then you can come up with ideas that could be your blog post for the week right so that's the thing so you know your topic I'm not talking about you know attraction marketing it's that's me right that's the stuff I've been doing for the last couple of years so I know those topics but at the same time when I'm thinking about okay what parts of that what is it that people are searching for uh what is it that Google search is showing us the SEO there's all these different things and so you give get ideas for the week right so then I create the five drafts for my blogs with the topics the titles and the, the 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 number right and then I write some of it right um and then my daily process is kind of like what I've talked about before but on the day of the post you know I have more time in the morning I'll type up the rest of the blog post then at lunch before then I do the recording or I do it before the recording then I record the video right and sometimes I still record the video before finishing the blog post but at least I've got the gist of the blog and recording the video helps me to create more content for the blog and and that's that's basically it but how does it help you to come up with uh you know to to organize your content like I said before you can organize your content you need you need to do one of two things either ask somebody who's done it before get them to tell you what to do or number two you just start you just do it and you learn as you go and and at some point you're going to come up with a way to organize your stuff because you're going to find the stuff that are that's more difficult for you or the stuff that if you do first is going to help the rest and all that so hopefully this this you know has helped and if you have any questions like I said just reach out let's have a conversation um you know and if you're looking for somebody to help you certainly I can help um I'm not I'm not I'm not that's not my core you know I'm not but I still um I'd love to help any anybody if you're looking for a specific help on something you can email me you can contact me on social media you can reply to my emails 
that's all possible for me to help you those are all ways I can help you and if you want to hire me as a coach that's also an option I don't take a lot of clients but it is it is possible and you can all find that on my blog all right so we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.